I always enjoy doing a part two to a video because that means we had a fabulous day of fishing. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and this is part two of probably one of the best topwater fishing days I had the entire year. This is uh, Jim and I on Eagle Lake, and if you wanna watch the first part, I'll link it up top here. So check that out, some really good uh, walk the dog topwater action that we had, a 46 and a 49 incher, a couple blow ups, a bunch of wakes and that sort of thing. So definitely check that out, and we're just gonna get right into it. We've got something at the end here that I want to talk about, but let's start out and watch a couple of pike, a nice muskie, and we're gonna end it with a nice four footer. All right, well, uh, since we had our nice little top water session this morning, not much has happened uh, other than us going in and taking a nap and having a pleasant little fish fry. And uh, we're back out for the afternoon. We're gonna be hitting weeds, rocks, bopping back and forth, just trying to see what the fish are doing, um, they didn't really seem to be uh, going that good in the weeds after this morning, of course. This morning was just crazy, so um, I guess if nothing else happens other than that, it's a good day, but I'd really, really like to uh, capitalize on, we got the new moon coming up in two days, and some big fish seem to be moving, so we need to get something uh, done, or do something about that, I should say, and uh, can't do it if I'm talking to a camera, so let's fish. Pike? Okay. Yeah, sure, you want me to net him or eh? Yeah, yeah. That's a healthy guy. Yeah, it's a nice piker. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Bike? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that if that was a pike that was slightly larger. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was pretty good size. <laughs> uh, wake up! Wake up, wake up. There we go. There we go. There we made the right choice, Jim. There we made the right choice. 
<laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Jim's fish. We're gonna hurry here so we can drop it back in. What a fight though. That's a beautiful fish, Jim. This last fish of the night, something happens that I think probably has happened to just about everybody. It's a net job gone wrong, and it just it just happens. I, I, if you haven't had it happen to you, you haven't netted enough muskies, because I don't care how good you are at reading that fish or knowing where it's gonna go, every now and again, something goofy happens. In this case, it was dark. It's at the end of a long trip. You know, Jim's no spring chicken. He's he's 77 years old, and, and he just does an awesome job of keeping up with, with what we're doing out there. So uh, end of the day, tired, and things just go wrong. So we couldn't flip the net around to get the fish in. The fish was pinned to the bait. The bait was pinned to the net, so uh, I just jumped in. And, you know, you have to be careful in these situations because... You know, you could end up with a hook in the hand and it's attached to a 30 pound fish. So, uh, you want to take a little bit of caution. I was trying to be as careful as I could and still get my hand on the fish to safely get it off of the bait, get it into the net so we can settle down, reset, and take care of it because it was a big fish and I wanted to get a uh, good measurement on it and get some film for you guys. Another thing about this fish is it, uh, it has a little bit of a, a growth on the chin. So, uh, anybody that wants to jump in and say, oh, you hurt the fish, you know, there's skin flapping around, that there's a growth there. So I know how the internet can be. But uh, we try to take care of the fish as best we could, given the situation. So this isn't a pretty net job, but I, like I said, it, it's going to happen to just about everybody if you do this for long enough. So let's check it out. Got him. Okay, you ready? It's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, Jim. Okay, oh no. Lift! No, no. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. Um. We got her though. We got her. Oh, golly. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Go ahead and grab that camera, Jim. I'll get 
this. Okay. Whoo! That was something. Ah, uh, I don't know how much of that you could see, but that was a little bit of a cluster, but a really neat topwater hit. And a eventual successful net job. <laughs> All right, baby. Oh, goodness. Another, another beautiful Eagle Lake topwater fish. What a cool way to end the night. Oh, we'll see what she is here. She is dandy, it looks like. It is a four-foot fish, a 48-incher. My goodness. Third topwater fish of the day, a 43, a 48, and a 49. Wowzer. Okay. All right, girl. Whew. Oh, yeah, you're right, 40. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Jim's 44 and a half. But, wow, that's cool. I can still see her sitting there, so we're just going to keep an eye on her. Wow, what a way to end the night. Let's go over there and take a look at her. Hey there, girl. <laughs> She's just hanging out. You gonna start going? <laughs> there you go. <sighs> yeah. There, it focused on me. <sighs> wow, well, I think we're just gonna call that a night here. We've maybe got five minutes left to fish or something but whew, wow a harrowing uh trip to the net there <laughs> on that but uh we got it we made it happen beautiful fish a 48 um yeah I, when, before i said a 43 a 48 and a 40 i got a 46 a 48 and a 49 today all in top waters and uh jim got yeah, 44 and a half on a bucktail we saw quite a few fish um, in fact, before I caught that one, I don't know how much of it I'm going to use, but I raised two other fish uh, on that obnoxious bee. That obnoxious bee, guys, for fish on rocks, unbelievable. Just an unbelievable bait. So many 50s, so many upper 40s on it. So check that sucker out. But with that, we've got one more day of this ridiculousness that we have to go back and rest up for. So that's what we're going to do. And as always, guys, um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you watching. Uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.